they are humans. That is how we have categorized ourselves. Apart from the trees, apart from the seas, We are humans. Here is an interesting question. Where do humans begin and end? Are we separated from the rest by our skin? Are we separated by our origins? In other words, are we separated from the rest by space and time? What if this perceived separation is just an illusion? Mechanical tools, seemingly innocent inventions, the plow once regarded as the invention that feeds people. Now it is the leading cause of soil erosion that will render civilization unable to find soil to grow crops on. That is further exacerbated by the left stock industry. We are losing soil a thousand times faster than it can be renewed. Thirty-three percent of the Earth's soils are already degraded. And over ninety percent could become degraded by 2050. Agriculture is currently the leading cause of the ongoing sixth mass extinction event. The inventors of the plow had no chance of imagining these unintended consequences. Fossil fuels Once regarded as the black hole 
that energized the modern civilization. Now, it is the leading cause of climate change. Climate change will wreak havoc on the ecosystem that we, as one of the 8.7 million species, depend on. These miners had no way of imagining the unintended consequences of their activities. These technological inventions have brought much bigger problems than they have solved They have spread across the landscape, displacing life along the way. Are the politicians to blame? Or is this the corporation's fault? Maybe monetary system is the one to blame. Maybe this was inevitable, given our capacity for technological invention. Indeed, if we wanted technology, this was the inevitable outcome. There are no blind technological alternatives, and there never will be one. When will we learn that the beast has its own mind? As long as we seek for technological and novel solutions, the exponentially growing destruction is inevitable. In essence, all these technological inventions are no different from fossil fuels or the power. They all have played their role in the destruction, like the people using them. In fact, the technological civilization is a runaway case of problems. But why is this the case? In nature, there is balance.
This balance is established by the harmony among its members. This harmony is rooted in their co-evolution. All life is connected like the pieces of a puzzle, a puzzle in which its pieces shape shifts in harmony with each other. leaving almost no room for disconnections. To understand this, we will look at a character named Bob. Here is Bob, on the left, the orange one. He has been evolved with others by being able to form many connections with them. And when they change, they change together, in harmony. Bob knows that he is not separate, but a part of the whole process of increasing the local intelligence. But if Bob forgets about this and decides to change faster than the rest, then he loses connections and reduces the overall intelligence of the system. has just caused a mass extinction. To be able to understand the root of the problems that we are facing today and why novel technological solutions are not real solutions, we need to understand how complex systems behave under disturbance. So, let's imagine a complex system representing the ecosystem. This is a simplified representation of a complex system with many parts connected to each other now, let's assume that the system is in harmony. Let's imagine the blue area as the primitive humans, who lived in harmony with the rest. But had a problem represented with a red dot. Now, we will introduce the disturbance of technology into the system represented as the black dot. Locally solving the humanities problem. This technology was introduced by early humans. This novel rapid change caused disturbance to the rest of the system. As the rest of the system didn't have time to adopt 
As you can see, now humans have two red cards, meaning they have the risk of having two problems. They had one problem, and when they tried to solve it, they have created two novel problems. But humans were insistent, or crews, so they have invented other technologies to overcome these two novel problems. You can see the two black odds added to the previous one. And these new technologies started a new chain of disturbance within the system. Now humans have five novel problems to solve. Surprisingly, our problems grow exponentially as we try to solve them using our intellect. We call these black dots civilization and the red dots the sixth mass extinction. These black dots are the seas, livestock, farms, governmental systems and the modern tools that we use. And the red dots are the wildlife, extinctions, climate change, ocean acidification, pandemics, and so on. As long as we insist on finding novel technological solutions. Our problems will grow exponentially until the ecological collapse. Problems and false solutions grow hand in hand. As these red and green curves, the red curve represents the problems and the green curve represents the false solutions such as the civilization. And they feed each other causing an exponentially growing feedback. At least until the inevitable collapse. Due to the unintended consequences of the novel solutions, the beast has its own mind. Technology cannot be tamed. It tames us until it kills us, all at the end, like a livestock. The system that we establish has to be as complex as the nature that it occupies. And not just complex, but also harmonious. This is statistically impossible to be achieved by humans as a subset of the greater system. We can't evolve, we can plan each other. Despite all the chaos awaiting the modern society, we are lucky enough to be living in a vast community. Who is still waiting us patiently and ready to heal and restore the last connections. Once we transform, how we define ourselves and learn to listen to the higher wisdom.